Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 31st, 2019. Happy Halloween, everyone. So we had a little Halloween surprise ourselves here in the market. Some, um, well, challenging news came out about trade war situation and suddenly overnight uh, all of the bullishness that we saw yesterday turned a little bit negative so uh, futures have been rallying just a little bit uh, this morning but we still have a little bit of a bearish look um, to the morning open at least for now and that's we still have a lot of earnings reports and things like that to get through that could certainly change that but um, a little bit of a disappointment. So after yesterday, let's take a look at what we've got going on here in our chart. As you can see, I've got a completely naked chart here, no indicators on there whatsoever. And I just wanna take a look and show you what I'm seeing in this chart. So first off, this I think is, is an important thing to, to recognize. Yesterday, we had a successful test of this down trend break so we broke through the downtrend we held it as support and pushed on up to highs yesterday now we haven't broken through we still have resistance in this chart to deal with um, so we haven't made uh, the diamonds haven't made a full-on response to the upside breaking uh, those records in fact there's still quite a little work to do but we do have a bullish pattern here breaking the downtrend holding it a support holding in a current uptrend you got to give this up to the bulls yesterday they did a really good job after some initial push down here um, on the rate um, news and then rallying right back up let's take a look right now we're looking at just a slight gap down here this morning uh, dow futures right now are showing about 75 points lower um, this morning as that ugly head of the trade war starts um, coming back up but we'll have to just keep an eye on that we've got a big day of earnings reports a big day of economic reports and uh, we also have the consideration of those economic reports tomorrow coming into play so let's keep an eye on this but right now i still have to give this to the bulls that hold of support of that downtrend support also if you look right across here there is a support level in this chart that we held on to so we've done a really really good job here in in holding up in the dow let's take a look at the spy now the spy did even better yesterday breaking out and creating a new record high close for the SPY showing lots and lots of strength here. We also had a great successful test of this breakout level right here. I need to fix drawing tools. Um, had a beautiful successful breakout um, breaking through this resistance and then yesterday we successfully tested it as support bouncing off of there and then moving up to new record highs i got to give that one to the bulls that is very very strong the only thing i'm a little bit concerned about here on the SPY is how stretched we are in this move. We're moving up pretty steeply here. And if we take a look at our 50 day moving average, our 50 day moving average is down here. We are a long ways away from that 50 day moving average, which would suggest we need at least some kind of a consolidation or a rest um, up in this area. So those averages can kind of catch up you can see in the past when we move too far away from those averages we get pullbacks and or we get this consolidation like this when we pull a long ways away from that 50. And we're quite a ways away from that 50 day moving average and we do have to consider that we may have stretched this rubber band just a little bit too tight we'll have to wait and see how the market addresses that but for now um this morning with that trade news we are getting a bit of a gap down here in the spy this morning we'll need to watch that pretty carefully as the day progresses let's take a look at the cues 
Q's also breaking through that resistance high and making that successful test yesterday. And I mean almost to the penny on both the SPY and the Q's. We went down there, hit that level and bounced off of that. That is a pretty good sign of, uh, or a pretty good test of that support. So we're still looking very good here. Now, obviously we didn't break through and make that new record high on the Q's, but that was a beautiful test of support. Now let's um, hope that that can continue to hold as that support. Once again, I have that little bit of concern that we may be stretching a little bit too far. We may require a little bit more rest up here, maybe a little more consolidation up here as that 50 day moving average moves up to provide some support. And keep in mind, we are uh, looking at an ever so slight uh, move down this morning here in the queues um, on that trade trade news so at least for now we're holding up okay um, but just that little concern this morning a little bit of a gap down um, due to that news um, IWM I IWM um, seems to be out of the loop it just can't seem to follow along with the market we get a, a market day where we sell off and, and IWM goes up and we get a market day where the market goes up and IWM stays uh, lower on the day so it did bounce um, did bounce up um, by the end of the day um, rallying back up and I think the good news here and I still have to give this one up to the bulls um, we have finally broken through that big major downtrend. We still probably need a little more proof that we can hold it as support, but right now the bulls are in control and hopefully we can get IWM moving with the rest of the market. That would be a nice help if IWM contributed just a little bit more here to uh, the overall move of the market. Let's take a look at the VIX this morning. The VIX, if, if I put some drawings on this chart, as you can see, the VIX is moving down toward this support level. There just really is no fear in the market. Dropping into a 12 handle, we could easily see an 11 handle um, in this move to drop us down into this support level. If we back up this chart, you can see this is a very well-defined support level that goes back a long ways. We can certainly break down below that. Now, Here's the here's the problem that we have this morning with uh, uh, the futures pointing to a little bit of a lower open trade war maybe coming back into the picture a little bit we could see that VIX bounce up just a little bit but I don't think we're in trouble at all as a matter of fact I think as long as we can kind of hold below this level right in here this little support resistance level up in here or right through here so this area as long as we stay below that i think we're in pretty good shape here uh, there's just really not much fear circulating around the market right now of course if we do for some reason see that spike up above there that will change a lot of things but for now there just doesn't seem to be a whole lot of fear as a matter of fact maybe a little bit of complacency is what we need to be worried about more than anything that we might be getting just a little bit complacent um, in the market let's take a look at t2122 very interesting yesterday t2122 even as the market was going up t2122 was pulling back so some of those key stocks must not have moved as much as um, some of the others that were moving up, pushing the markets up. But as you can see, um, what that tells us here is we still have upside room here in the market. And I think that's what everyone wants to hear is if, if we just mark this off in here, we've got plenty of upside room to poke out to new, new highs and push on up. One thing we do have to remember, once again, we've stretched this pretty hard 
in a couple of the indexes we push those up really really hard and um, that means we do have this big open space down here for that possible pullback not suggesting that we have to whip all the way back down here but a little pullback couldn't hurt us at all if we if we pulled back down toward more of this 50% area um, pull back into here and then get a little more energy to move to the upside but we'll see it's going to be important that we hold on to those support levels and uh, particularly the spy and well I'm going to say all of them we need to hold those support levels uh, because the last thing we want to do is add an additional complication of the markets failing to hold their current supports let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today and we do have um, kind of an interesting uh, couple of days ahead of us here on the economic calendar as you can see this morning here at 8 30 this morning 8 30 eastern we're going to get jobless claims personal income and outlays those can move the markets around but jobs have been holding up very very well in fact the adp showed strength in the jobs market so probably not a big worry there personal incomes and outlays might be a little bit of a different issue but probably not going to be a major factor for today we have employment cost index chicago pmi petroleum stat or um, natural gas report um, you know some of those can move the market around if they're a big surprise but i wouldn't be too worried about those today and um, we have the fed balance sheet later on today one of the things that you might want to keep in mind and that is tomorrow morning and why does tomorrow morning affect us today well tomorrow morning we have that big employment situation number that's a pretty big number for the market very important number for the market We'll want to keep an eye on that. And what could occur today uh, because of these big pending numbers of employment situation number and this very important ISM number, we could, um, we could see today just kind of be a sideways stale um, choppy kind of day as the market just waits for these big numbers to come out so we're, we've already got that little bit of bearishness with the trade war situation creeping in here um, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see us um, maybe have kind of a wait-and-see attitude even though we have a big round of earnings today so we have um, about 340 companies reporting earnings today they're coming in pretty darn quickly this morning and we'll want to keep an eye on those obviously um, a lot of stocks moving we're past the halfway point on this earnings season which is nice and and honestly overall um, earnings have been very very strong we had really good reports out of Microsoft apparently their phone sales were are not Microsoft Apple um, um, apparently their phone sales were a little bit off but they made up for it in iPad sales and, and wearables such as the Apple Watch, uh, those kind of things, um, really perking things up. So Apple looking to gap up this morning, holding up really, really strong here. Um, that certainly is a benefit uh, to the market and the NASDAQ overall after making such a big run. Pretty darn positive to see that continuing to move higher. And also Facebook. Facebook pulled off another good earnings report, breaking out of some resistance here and moving on up into this area. So I think breaking up here, I don't think I would chase that this morning, but moving up in here, any kind of rest or pullback or hold in here could definitely set up that opportunity for a trade in Facebook. So a couple of good earnings reports and, and, and a slew of good earnings reports yesterday, um, giving those bulls um, some confidence here overall. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you great trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you guys could do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube, click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. And also don't forget to click that little bell icon icon when you subscribe to make sure you're notified every time I post one of these videos.
You know, I say this pretty much every day, but I really hope you guys are getting something out of these videos, that they're meaningful to you, that you're seeing that what I do is a little bit different than what you might find in other places. I don't provide any hype. I don't provide any, um, any uh, prediction as to what's going on in the market. We look at the technicals. We look at the price action of the chart. And if you find that helpful, please click that thumbs up button. And please feel free to share this video with any friends, family that might be interested. Post it on your Facebook page, post it on YouTube or Twitter. Um, all of these videos, and there's over 600 now on the channel, um, it, um, is there for um, education purposes and, and hopefully you find them useful. Uh, thank you to everyone who leaves comments. You guys are truly awesome. Um, I truly, truly uh, appreciate it. You guys um, humble me every day. So let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. Stocks that I've talked about before, stocks that may be um, something different. And one of those I already kind of revealed. Let's take a look at Microsoft this morning. Microsoft getting a nice bump here. Now, Microsoft is looking like it could pull back a little bit on this trade war uh, worry. But one of the things uh, that I find interesting in this chart is we finally broke through this area, had kind of a little pullback and hold in that area of support and buyers kind of stepping up. So Microsoft is starting to look pretty strong here. When I look at it on a longer term chart, this is a beautiful consolidation breakout overall so if we continue to hold up here there may be more upside potential remember Microsoft reported very strong earnings and as long as these earnings continue to roll in strong um, on the tech side um, there seems to be pretty good opportunity here in this chart so keep an eye on Microsoft it's a slow mover but there's often um, opportunity and you know you got to give it up here um, the trend has been up and um, looks like it wants to continue to the upside. So think about Microsoft. Um, this pullback this morning might provide a little bit of concern. Uh, we just don't want to break down through this support. So keep an eye on that. How about a stock like UAA? Now UAA has been a miserable stock here for a while. Failing, failing, failing. The, the problem with this right now is it reports on 11.4. So we're going to have to watch this pretty closely. But one of the things that I've been paying attention to is UAA rising here. We've got this little consolidating move. Obviously, I've got a resistance line um, right here in the chart. But around earnings, anything is possible. We could potentially pop through there. And I think any breakthrough up in here that holds as support could bring some upside opportunity. Now, of course, earnings can always disappoint like it did over here, and we could gap on lower. So kind of keep that in mind. UAA's got a long way to come around, but maybe starting to improve something to watch for. I want to also point out Altria. Um, even though there's all of these worries, concerns, and everything going on about vaping, it's interesting to me that um, Altria has broken through its downtrend. We've broken back up and we've made a successful test of this support. And as you can see this morning, um, Altria is looking for a gap up open. So we've moved back through um, this downtrend, we've held a support level and we're bouncing higher, that may be something to pay attention to. And I want to remind you when I, when I point out a chart um, in these videos, I want everyone to remember these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. The reason I point these stocks out is so that everyone has an opportunity to maybe evaluate that trade, see if it actually fits them personally. It's a decision that we all have to make as a trader, but keep in mind this is no recommendation. I'm certainly not trying to predict that, that Mo is going to move on up here. Just showing some good signs and something you might want to keep an eye on. Another one I've brought up several times is Lulu. Lulu has held up very, very well in here. 
And as you can see, holding up pretty darn strong. I've got an alert up here on this chart and you can see we're moving up in this trend, which means we still may have a little bit more consolidation and things like that to go uh, going on. But I got to tell you, the bulls are holding this very strongly here on this breakout. Might want to keep an eye on Lulu. Um, JB Hunt pulled back yesterday. We I've been talking about JB Hunt in this nice little trending move that's going on here in JB Hunt. Got a little resting going on in here and after it popped out pulled back a little bit i wouldn't be at all surprised to see this continue to maybe consolidate over toward this area but we want to keep an eye on jb hunt it's still looking pretty good overall and could set up as a nice trade last but not least i'm going to show you a stock that's really coming up out of a bottom uh pfizer has been uh well just really punished here recently um, but they had a good earnings report this time around and you can see what's happened here we've rallied up nicely we've broken through this resistance area and I think any kind of rest or consolidation in here that moves us back toward the trend could set up an opportunity where we may come up into here and attack that resistance and maybe even attack that gap so keep an eye on Pfizer um, it may have some opportunity here in the future, something to put on your watch list. So with that, everyone, hey, I'm running out of time. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Hope everyone has an, uh, a great day of profits. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Take care, everyone.